Don, I've used free will as a probe of my own way of thinking about consciousness. There's so many interesting problems that free will elicits when you really start thinking about it. And some people look to the physics uh, of, of quantum physics with its indeterminacy of helping us with the free will problem. You're a quantum physicist, you think about free will, how do the two articulate? Well, of course, the, the, the version of quantum theory that I believe, which is roughly the Everett version, it, it, it says the wave function doesn't collapse, it evolves deterministically according to laws in which I as a Christian believe God created. So in this view, the quantum physics does not have any indeterminism in it. It, okay. it gives a whole lot, a huge number of different conscious perceptions, but they all exist. They may have different measures to measure how much they exist, but they all, all exist. So I don't see any indeterminacy in that. I will admit, if someone does believe in free will, which I don't, I don't believe in, in libertarian. So you, you don't believe in free will, and you don't believe in, in, in determinacy. Right, I don't believe in free will, and I, yeah, so I... I so that's I, a double not believing in free will. <laughs> well, in a sense, I mean, I, I, it's, if you said free will in a compatibilist sense, then I, I wouldn't disagree, but, yeah, but yeah. I, I don't believe in, in, in free will in the incompatible sense, in other words, libertarian free will that's, that's free of, of determination. But, I, but, but let me do say that I can see logically, even if somebody believed that, that one's experiences were completely determined by the quantum state and by the laws of evolution, I think one still could believe in free will if one allowed that one's free will made a choice as to what this quantum state was yeah. and or what the evolution was. It's only if you assume the quantum state is fixed and that the evolution is fixed that you get the complete determination. So I think, it, I think even if you take a deterministic view of quantum theory, you could still say that part of the determination is by the free will agents. Now that's not the route I go, because I, I very strongly believe that, that God is the creator of, of absolutely everything other than himself. He had no free choices to bring into the universe. He had to create everything of the universe from scratch or from nothing. And there, there is, it's just not logically possible for him to create beings with free will. Therefore, we're entirely created and, and determined by God. So that's my main reason for not... Okay, you, you went a step too, too quickly there. Okay. God had no choice but to create things the way that he... God started with nothing. We, we agree with that. Yes. And, and mo most people would think God had an enormous range of possibilities, and, and he somehow chose what he chose. Okay, so w what I'm saying is... I can see that it could be logically possible for there to be free choices that God adopts into a world that he otherwise creates. In other words, he creates a world, he creates a, a human body, and then he brings into this body some choices that God himself did not create. But if God didn't create them, they had to be either they had to be pre-existing or they had to come from somewhere else. And I think God could adopt them into a world. It's just I don't believe that's what happened. I believe God actually did create everything. And also because of that, I believe in some sense there just aren't, they just don't exist any of these free will choices that God could bring in. That they, they weren't there. They weren't the material there for God to choose. So it's, in some sense, I believe that God was limited because he had nothing to work with except himself. That he, he has no free, he has no access to any free will choices. We have access that we can, because I didn't create you. If I go to you, you can tell me something that I can regard as it, certainly your, what you do is free of my determination. And, and, you know, I can have that. I can produce, you know, I've, I've produced three biological children and I have two adopted children that we love very much and they do things that I didn't determine. Mm -hmm. And, and so I, we have access to things that aren't determined by us. But I think if God has to create absolutely everything, he doesn't have access to anything he didn't determine. <laughs> Therefore, I believe it's logically impossible for God to create anything that has free will. He could create something and then adopt, and if there did exist some uncreated free will choices, he could adopt those into a universe he otherwise created. But if those free will choices in some ultimate sense did not exist independently of God, there's no way for God to create them. Is that consistent with your view of many worlds that, that has this enormous branching? Because if everything is, is determined uh, being one of these branches, and there's many, many, many Don Pages, and so by being, by you doing everything possible means that you have no choice because every everything you're doing everything at least once. Yes, yeah, so in some sense, I'm saying the whole set is 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 determined by God, and and I have no choice in it. Now, you know, it is true because, of course, there are many different possible experiences or, or actual experiences I'll have in the future which are different, which could not. 
I can't predict a single one now because there's a multitude of them are, are going to occur. And because I cannot predict a single one of them, to me, it looks like it's indeterministic. I mean, if I, if I just focus on a single one I'll have, then it's not determined by what's now because what's really determined is the whole, is the whole set. So it looks like it's indeterminate and it, it, it can very easily look as if I'm making a free choice that, you know, why, why am I here in this conversation with you rather than on the beach? Mm -hmm. And I can, you know, I can say, well, maybe it looks like it was a free will choice of mine, and maybe there is another branch where I did go to the beach, but I'm glad that I'm in this branch <laughs> in, the, in the conversation.